In this video, I'm going to tell you about six great Arnold Schwarzenegger movies that you should watch. Hey, it's me AP and welcome back to another video. So six great Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Just gotta say, Arnold is one of my favorite action heroes out there and putting together six movies, six great movies was, was hard. And I know this is not a list of just like action movies, but most of these movies are very much action movies. And so it was hard to put this list through and I'm sure at some point there will be another video of like six more great Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, but these are my first six. These are the sort of the six I would always go to. It was my favorite ones uh, to watch of Arnold's movies. Uh, as a kid, I would always watch it. It was kind of between an Arnold movie and a Stallone movie. They were the, the guys I was watching a lot of the movies from actors-wise. And uh, I, I enjoy Arnold. I think he's a superb actor. He's a, you know, superb physique. Uh, he looks the real deal. He looks like a proper action star. He is a proper action star. And so it was really fun putting this list together today of six great Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. So I hope you uh, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the list of movies. So the first Arnold movie I want to discuss is The Running Man. Now basically the story of The Running Man, he plays, Arnold plays a, a falsely convicted uh, police officer in this movie and then it's set in this like dystopian sort of world where he then gets thrown into jail but then he gets a chance at freedom being sent into this weird game show called The Running Man and basically in this game show you've got to fight for your life across so many rounds and you've got to battle these killers, these sort of like gladiator like killers on this TV show. Uh, it's really cheesy at times but it's just a, it's a really cool sci-fi movie and you see him and his friends getting thrown into this game show The Running Man he doesn't want to, he, he, along the lines he escapes it somehow and then he, he gets revenge. It's just a really, a really cool movie, The Running Man. I, I feel like, you know, I look at a lot, a lot of these movies now, you look at like the the, the Maze Runner, the Hunger Games, and I, I, I feel like a lot of them have taken a lot of inspiration from The Running Man, and it's a, a super film and well worth checking out as an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. The next movie I want to discuss is Last Action Hero, and this is a really... A really weird one, isn't it, Last Action Hero? If you've never watched this movie, basically, it's a very meta movie. It's sort of like a movie within a movie. So, uh, in this movie, Arnold plays himself at certain points in the movie, but he also plays a character called Jack Slater, who is a character that Arnold Schwarzenegger, as the actor, plays. It's like this movie series, the Jack Slater Police movie series. And basically, this kid, Danny, he gets this, like, magical cinema ticket, and he goes, he gets sucked into the movie, into a Jack Slater movie, the character that Arnold plays in this movie. So, as I said, it's a movie within a movie. It's very, very weird, but it's just, um, it's one I, would, I watched a few times as a kid, Last Action Hero, and I remember watching it as a kid, and I wasn't, like, super keen on it. I wasn't, I, I thought, hmm, not the best Arnie movie out there. Fast forward to maybe last year, a year or two ago, I gave it another watch. Give Last Action Hero another watch. A long time since I've been a kid, and uh, it was awesome. It was an awesome movie. I, I loved the that idea of, like, a movie within a movie, a dream within a dream, very Inception-like, um... It was it was a great watch, really fun watch. But then you see like the the villains in this story slowly begin to realise that they're actually in a movie, and you're seeing like Danny's in this movie. But there's there's like movie traits going on here, and then the villains start to realise in this film that they're in a movie, and then they end up coming into the real world. And it's just a really strange movie, very a very different movie than any type of movie you would have watched before. Uh, I think it 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 needs to have more you know, more positivity around this movie. I don't know how much positivity it has, but I, I feel like it doesn't, it's a movie that gets lost in the shuffle of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, and I feel like it deserves a lot more credit for being such a unique movie, and I really enjoy it. I watched it recently, as I said, the past year or two. I thought it was great, really enjoyable watch, and uh, it's well worth the watch, and it is definitely a great Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. The next movie I want to discuss is Predator, and in this movie, Arnold stars as Major Alan Dutch Schaefer, and basically, he's carried in this, he goes on a mission to a rescue mission in the jungle, and basically, the mission 
gets sort of intercepted by this predator who is hunting all his team down, Arnold's team down in this. And then all his team start getting killed off and then it's a case where this alien creature, the predator, is hunting Arnold and then Arnold decides, you know, it's time, I'm going to hunt the predator instead. And we see Arnold cover himself in mud and just go out all out guns blazing to, trying to kill this predator. It's just an all out guns blazing action movie. It's fantastic. I love the setting of the jungle. It's just, you don't know what's going to happen in this jungle. It's anything that could happen in there. It's a great cast as well. You've got Arnold Schwarzenegger in there. You've got Jesse the Body Ventura. You've got Carl Weathers. Superb cast in there. It's just a great action movie and a great Arnold movie as well. Fourth on my list today of great Arnold Schwarzenegger movies is Commando. And what can I say about Commando? You know, Commando, uh, Arnold plays a character called John Matrix in this movie. Running sort of thing with Ar all Arnold movies. He has boss names. He has amazing names. And John Matrix, what a cool name. He has Dutch. He has John Matrix. He has T-100. He's got some great names going out there. And uh, yeah, John Matrix, Colonel John Matrix in this movie his son he's not his son his daughter gets abducted jenny uh, played by Alyssa milano a young Alyssa milano uh, she gets abducted and basically it's a story of him trying to get his daughter back and he's just all out action as in as with most arnold schwarzenegger action movies great action movie arnold is great there's lots of like bazookas flying gun shooting knife throwing uh, it's just all out action commando. It's a really enjoyable movie and it's definitely one of his great movies. Next on my list is Total Recall. Now in this movie Arnold plays a character called Douglas Quaid and basically he's uh, he's you know a bit, bit lost in the world. He wants to get a bit of adventure in this world and he sees that you know people are taking trips to Mars and he then sees like this advertisement for the recall program and basically the recall program it's like they give you a false memory they give you the memory of going to a place or doing a certain adventure even though you haven't done it and he decides to go to recall and get this memory put in his mind that he went to mars and he was a secret agent and uh, basically then there's something goes on in in the procedure and he has it turns out he has suppressed memories and that he is uh, he, is a, he is a secret agent uh, with su suppressed memories, a secret agent, and then basically his quest takes him to Mars in all this story, and it's the, like, you know, talk a lot about the freedom of the people of Mars, saving the people of Mars. It's a really good story. I, I think it's, a, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a, is a book. It might be by Philip K. Dick, is it? I might be wrong. I know it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a well-known sci-fi book list or the Total Recall book. It's a film that's been remade more recently with Colin Farrell as well. I like the remake, but the original for me is unbeatable. I think it's just a superb sci-fi movie from Arnold Schwarzenegger. It is just so many unique, memorable moments. I think one of the moments what I find most memorable, and a lot of other people do, is when he's he's in um, the airport with the fake head on of the woman, and she's going, two weeks, two weeks, and and then the, the, the face starts to like blow up and then he takes it off and then you see Arnold's face it's just so cool I, I just love the sets of this movie I think it's unreal it's so imaginative it's uh you feel like you get sucked into that world of Mars I love it I think it's a great movie a great sci-fi movie but a great overall Arnold Schwarzenegger movie so the last Arnold Schwarzenegger movie I want to discuss is Terminator 2 Judgment Day and this sees the return of Linda Hamilton. It sees the return of Arnold. You see the Kyle Reese out there Is it Michael Biehn? He returns briefly in this uh, But it's a big big turnaround from the first movie. I, I enjoy the first movie But sec the second Terminator is probably my favorite uh, For the reason being you know we see this character change of Arnold in the first movie He's the villain in the second movie He is now the to protect a young John Connor who's in his teenage years and he is a good guy now he's it but you know Linda Hamilton's character of Sarah Connor she still sees his face and she sees the guy who tried to kill her in the first movie and then you see this like this father-son relationship between the Terminator Arnold's character and John Connor which is a really uh, a, a nice relationship I enjoy, really enjoy the relationship of him protecting John is really good, and then you see this, you know, really good villain, the really the 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 most um, intense Terminator, the, the strongest Terminator ever created in the T1000, who is going out to hunt down John Connor, 
and in, in his police gear in this one, the other the, the villain of the piece. Uh, I just think it's a really, really strong movie. I think it's got a really emotional ending for a sci-fi sci movie. Very, very emotional. I, I love the ending to this movie. Uh, it's just so good. I, I think it's the... You know, the, the Terminator movies, some of them have been good after this. Some of them I've, I've, I've really not enjoyed. Um, this is definitely, for me, the best in the franchise of Terminator movies. Uh, I don't think it'll ever be topped, personally. I think this is, like, the, the top line of t Terminator movies. It won't ever be topped again. But yeah, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, is just such a fantastic movie. And um, I, I, I don't know, some action movies... Uh, better than others, but this one is just a top tier action movie, Terminator 2. All Out, it's got a great soundtrack as well. You've got like Guns N' Roses mixed in there. Uh, it's just so cool. Such a cool movie. And it is a great, great, great Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. If you enjoyed this video today, please do give it a like and check out the rest of my movie related content as well. And let me know some of your favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Uh, is there any on this list that you really enjoyed or some you didn't enjoy as much? And what are your favorite ones? What are your six great Arnold Schwarzenegger movies? And some of your hidden gem recommendations as well. Let me know all your choices, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, I will see you next time.